Hi, welcome to the table clinic demonstration on provisional fiber spin restoration, a modification of Maryland bridge technique. A variety of therapeutic modalities from implants to conventional Maryland processes can be used for replacing missing anterior tooth. Whenever an immediate replacement with minimal tooth reduction is desired, a fiber reinforced composite processes could be a good alternative to conventional prosthetic techniques chiefly as temporary restoration before making a final decision on treatment. Fiber reinforced composite in combination with adhesive technology appears to be a promising treatment option for replacing missing teeth. Simulation of procedure on models. The palatal surfaces of teeth adjacent to the edential space are prepared minimally using a thick round burr for adapting resin impregnated fibers. The surfaces are now air dried using a three way syringe and acid etching is done using 37% phosphoric acid gel for 15 to 20 seconds followed by subsequent rinsing and drying till a white frosty appearance is seen. Bonding agent is applied later and a bundle of fiber of sufficient length is cut and spread on palatal surfaces and light cured. The pontic can be built using two methods. Composite material is used to build the pontic layer by layer and light cured subsequently and finishing, recontouring and polishing is done followed by occlusal correction if any. Preformed acrylic tooth can also be used to replace pontics. Its palatal surface is grooved using striped fissure burr and etching its surface followed by application of bonding agent and light curing it. This whole unit is carefully attached to underlying matrix bed and light cured subsequently. Careful occlusal evaluation for interferences is done and relieved. The combination of restorative resin, adhesive system and fiber reinforcement has introduced a new generation of metal free conservative and immediate restorations of missing spaces. The importance of using such high quality and proven materials and their correct clinical use needs to be emphasized. Currently, acceptable success rates in long-term FRC restoration such as crowns and bridges have been reported. However, the utilization of this technique seems to be viable mostly in non-stress bearing areas, highly acidic areas like upper and lower anterior region. Further, long-term clinical investigations will be required to provide additional information on survival of directly bonded anterior fixed processes made with FRC systems. Thank you.